Today we're going to have a look at coil gun design. So this setup uses a series of switched coils. So each coil is triggered with a LED and photo transistor. And the signal from that goes to an LM319 comparator. And the signal from that is amplified within, with a transistor and that drives the gate on the SCRs. I have a small piece of Dell and we're going to send it through the uh, bore and we'll trigger the SCR so you can see the sequence. Here's the power end of the setup. There are three 800 microfarad, 450 volt electrolytic capacitors, and then there are five sets of 100 microfarad AC capacitors stacked together. So there's five stacks of 200, and they power the last five coils. The uh, resistors there are the um, charging resistors and they isolate the capacitors from one another so when one SCR triggers it won't draw down the rest of the bank. So that's the isolation. So I have two different coils on this uh, test setup. One has a uh, thin steel tube on the inside of the coil to increase the permeability. And the inductance on this coil is 425 microhenries. And I have another coil that's just a wound copper. Inductance is 220 microhenries. It's a faster coil. Might give us more velocity versus permeability. Let's see what happens. Our first round of experiments has three different projectiles. This one here is solid steel, weighs 16 grams. This next one is hollow steel, 11 and a half grams. And this one here is steel. It's like shaped like a spool and it's wound with uh, copper wire. It weighs 15 and a half grams. And the copper wire forms a uh, loop. It loops through the uh, center. And we're going to see if we can make like an electromagnet out of it and see what we get. Here's an overall view of this test and the coil gun. We have a coronagraph down to our target. This is the hollow one. This is an experimental projectile with a weight of 36 grams. Let's see what happens. We're running about 420 volts on these experiments. So here is our ballistic results. That uh, way around steel spool, we did um, 96 feet per second. Didn't do very well. The hollow core, we did uh, 125 feet per second. That's 6 foot pounds. The solid one, 120 feet per second, 8 foot pounds. And that long rod on the right, we did 90 feet per second. It's 10 foot pounds. 
This is a two coil setup that runs on 700 volts. And on the first stage I have a high inductance slow coil. The second stage is a low inductance fast coil. So that second stage is going to move a lot of current. So I have on that a um, hockey puck style SCR. And we'll run this and uh, see what happens. This is the coil response on the fast coil. It looks like about 500 microseconds. So this concludes part one of this coil gun series. As you can see, the efficiency wasn't very good at about 4%. That's with the uh, eight stage setup. So on the uh, next video we will have two different uh, three-phase linear induction setups.